Hey all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north, more specifically Farmington Hills, Michigan. Even more specifically than that, I'm in front of Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. And one of the very first videos I ever did was at this amazing museum. And what it is, it's more than a museum, it's an interactive attraction where there's arcade machines, robots, coin-operated wonders, and uh, it's, been, it's been quite a few years, so I'm excited to see how the place is doing. Um, sadly, the owner, uh, Marvin Yagoda, passed away a few years ago, um, so he's no longer with us, but I still wanted to check out, see if there was anything new, anything different, and most of all, I am just excited to be back here, so follow me. Watch the meters whirl. Says, for those of you who didn't spend any money, please leave a donation for the electric bill. All these amazing pinball machines. And this right here, this was my favorite arcade machine of all time. Check out these old Chuck E. Cheese animatronics. Pretty impressive, that's Munch there in the middle. Jasper the dog, I forget her name. Some of my animatronic Friends can help identify these creations. It's a singing pig lady. There's three birds, three singing birds. And then I don't know what this is. This wall here like has weird hands that applause, I guess. And yes, we have Wadlow and he's coin operated. You can see the entire, entire life of Robert Wadlow for 50 cents. Funny mirror from Coney Island Amusement Park. There you see a long necked woman that looks like it maybe came from a Ripley's and a horrifying clown. This is called the Miser's Dream. Let's see if it works. Oh! Bank vault opened. Oh, is that the devil in the window? what every man must do before he takes a poo? I guess we should find out. What is he doing? Is he doing exercises? Poop related exercises? Here's everyone's favorite, the laughing sailor. Got a bee on his nose. <laughs> oh, I love it. Louis the Love Shrink's Love Shack. I guess this is uh, Louis the Love Shrink. Let's see what he has to say. Looks like a strikeout, pal. Yous are easily manipulated, but very flexible like. <laughs> Most of your relationships start out stretched, but pretty soon yous are reading the comics and laughing at their reverse psychology. At the end of the day, your lover will finish toying with you, put you back in the plastic egg, and save you from dirt and those random hairs that keep creeping in there. Hey, what's with that scrunched brow, pal? This is scientific stuff here. Sorry, facts is facts. Now back off. I gotta spread the Jeez. love to lots of what others. Mean little, mean little over. Cupid. I see the sex change machine is out of order. License Undertaker, licensed bone doctor. Welcome to the manor. Uncle Oscar. woman will give you a little love, a little affection, a little tenderness. It means you're in the wrong house. That's what it means. Here we have an Asian gentleman. This is Happy Good Fortunes. How come? Master Harry Chin is my name and Happy Good Fortune is my game. Now, let Master Chin look into your you may already be a winner! 
You know, some people might find this slightly offensive. All right, now we can play tic-tac-toe against a chicken. There's my worthy opponent, and we are gonna see if we can beat him at his own game. Who goes first? Peck and Pete's turn, the chicken goes first. Red right in the middle. Okay, um, isn't it impossible to win a tic-tac-toe if you go second? All right. What are you gonna do, Peck and Pete? Right. He beat me. Since I'm asking all these other random fortune tellers their opinion on me, let's see what the brain has to say. That's you. Oh, it's spinning those knobs. Yeah, more power, yes. Oh no. This guy's evil looking. So, the answer is green, a tall name pool, and then number eight. Now Scrab! This is called the donor. I'm not sure what's about to uh, happen here. We got a guy laying on a slab. Oh, sliding up. Oh, he's breathing. Dr. Ralph Binge and Purge, the county food inspector. That is a a, a salty looking fellow in there. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's banging his head. Oh, vomiting. Possibly the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh. Michigan's rarest creature is well known for the slow reflexes and persistence. The Michigan anteater demonstrates the infamous hunting techniques which contributed so much to his animal's utter lack of success as a species. Okay. There's an ant coming. He's gonna suck it up. Oh, he missed. Now haunted houses often have the, the prop Oh, there's a man being electrocuted. This is like a miniature version of it. He's in a little box, but you can still fry him up. All right, oh, there he goes. Oh, not pleasant. I'm sorry, I feel guilty now. The ner Nervometer test your courage. Gotta hold the bread button as long as I can. Oh no, there's the dog. Come out, ah! Ah. Oh, okay. Did it win? Congratulations. I won. Defeated the dog. I defeated the dog. The sizzle meter. Oh wow, that's actually connected. That actually electrocutes you. I had one hand on it, so it wasn't working when I completed. The circuit it actually was running electricity through you. That's fun. All right, in the vein of all these torture games, we have the three trials of terror. You keep your hand on the button for all three trials. Well, we're sure gonna try. I'm gonna put my hand. That. What's gonna happen? Now my hand's on fire. I defeated the three trials. I defeated the three trials. This is designed to cure your fear of spiders. It's another one you have to stick your hand in. All right, so I put my hand in there. Here comes the spider. And what's gonna happen to me? Oh! Ah! Something's tickling the bottom of my hand. My butcher whim. Oh, it says I'm a butch. The great chopping off. Looks like he's got a... Uh, a blade that he that he will cut your hand off with. So uh, yeah, let's pay for that. That sounds like a brilliant idea. All right, gonna put our hand in there. Welcome. I am the great chopper. Summon up his mystical powers and 
Oh! He chopped my hand off. Hey look, an autographed photo of Jake the Snake Roberts. Merlin the Magician. Let's see, oh, there he goes. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? His little frog. Little frog under his cup. He's gonna put it back down. It's gonna be a magic trick, I think. What's gonna be under there now? Oh, he's gonna tap it with his magic wand. And. 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 Now what? He turned it into a little birdie. Zelda the Mysterious. Moving ever so slightly. Oh, there she goes. Putting her hand over her tarot cards, her finger. Here's a been detached. All right. Oh, down here. There we go. All right, another endurance game, King Cobra. You gotta see how long you can hold your finger on there. I don't know what the Cobra's gonna do. All right, Cobra, do, do your worst. Oh, he's dancing. He's gonna strike, isn't he? Just the anticipation makes it worse. Cobra is not even moving anymore. Wow. Right, this is not Frankenstein, but Krankenstein, his messed out brother. Oh, actually, I think he's called that because there's a crank down here. Guess we gotta revive him by turning the crank. Uh oh, danger. Danger. Frankenstein's about to. Ah! I brought you back to life, and you jump scare me in response. Love these old magician posters on the wall. There we have the world's most tattooed woman. I think she's from Ripley's. I don't know who that is next to her. There's the steakhouse. Don't know what that is. Maybe some sort of disturbing knockoff of Mr. Peanut. Vigorous, strength, healthy color by the Vibratory Doctor. The Vibratory Doctor. I, I don't know what this does. I'm a little worried about this attachment right here, but I guess uh, we'll give it a shot, see what he does. When he vibrates. This, this vibrates. I'm, this is, this is, this is disturbing. Yeah, I don't. I, uh, yeah. It says, not electric, try it, it is pleasant. The guillotine. Let's see what happened. I guess this is sort of execution simulator. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see it. Do you see it? See the guy? Oh, just got his head chopped off. That was Wally and Wanda, the polka babies. I could use a good polka baby dance. Oh, and there they go. Here's something of immense historical importance. This is amazing. The Cardiff Giant. This is actually P.T. Barnum's own Cardiff Giant. It was alleged that a farmer found this giant petrified man in his field. And of course they charge money to be able to come and gawk at it, come to see it. And then P.T. Barnum offered to buy it and they told him no. So he did the most P.T. Barnum thing you could imagine and made his own. And here it sits, right here. Marvin's, Marvel, Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. Seriously though, it's huge. What do you want, Johnny? How much you want? 30 pound weight limit. That's no fun. That's an interesting uh, trash can right there. Big old buffalo head right there. 
Some interesting things up in the rafters. We have Colonel Sanders with the world's largest chicken bones. You have those animatronic bears, which I swear were actually moving a second ago. We got another family of bears up there. Exposing the sex bad maniacs of the world on screen. There we have the world's heaviest man, clearly not me. Wanted, Clyde and his honky tonk piano. Get that no good character right there. Got a lot of tickets? <laughs> All right, you see a picture of Jesus there? This is the auto wed machine. It actually is the most expensive thing here, $2 to operate. Uh, my wife's not here, but uh, I, I really want to see how this works, so don't tell her, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get married here at Marvin's. Oh. Please select your union. Press one for straight, press two for gay, press three for lesbian or for for best friends forever. We gotta select a union. I'm 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 straight, so I'll hop at one. Straight. Please enter the groom's name. Then press one. Please enter the bride's name. Then press one. Alright. A R I S. Key. Even though she's not here, we can get married long distance, even though we're already married. Do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband to have and to hold from this day? Press one for I do. Press two to escape. Uh, she's not here, but I'm assuming she. Do would... you take this woman to be your lawful I do. wedded wife? I do. Please collect your rings below. You have exchanged these rings as a pledge of your vows to each other. These are rings? Congratulations, you may now kiss. Please take your certificate of union and thank There's you no for rings. choosing how to went for your special occasion. All right. If you were happy with our service, please retain your receipt for a 10% discount with auto divorce. Strella's prophecies, another fortune teller. What's she doing? Oh, here she comes. That is the stuff of nightmares right there. Sadly, the alien IQ test is out of order. The disgusting spectacle. Let's pay for it. Go for it. Oh no, oh God. I wasn't told that it would be that bad. All right, invasion of the body snatchers. Gonna happen. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh my gosh. It's turned to an alien. The waiting room. Guess this lady's pregnant. This guy's got an axe in his head. Not sure what's wrong with her, but uh, that guy's just a skeleton. He, he probably needs it the most. This disgusting face was part of a game called Poison the Rat. Hmm. The Spanish Inquisition. Torture scene here. This guy's having a hot brand in his skin. This guy's being flagellated. I guess that guy in the back's being stretched. Such, such pleasant times. And Drake, the greatest of the great illusionists. All right. This gross picture of Burt Reynolds naked on a bearskin rug. Don't tell anyone, but... Oh! Now everyone knows. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? I don't know. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Oh, there he is. Getting drunk. He should be sailing, not getting drunk. Oh, everyone's peeking at him. 
that giant snake and his skeletons. Oh no! It's Humpty Dumpty behind the concession stand. Oh, I love the monkeys so much. This is literally my second favorite arcade game of all time. The original Ninja Turtles game. I could literally, literally spend all day in this place. Instant physical exams with Dr. Ima Quackenstein. All right, let's put a coin in here. Oh, what's this? It's a rotating model of the human body in there. But, uh... As I say, if the problem's dry, add moisture. If it's moist, add dryness. Actually, that's all I needed to know to become a certified dermatologist. <laughs> Just so much hanging from the ceiling, so much pushed up against the walls. It's just hard to just sort out all the wonderful things going on around you. Marvin's Marvelous Monkey Band, his own band comprised of apes. And there is the visage of Marvin himself, Big Marvin's used furniture. Wow. Got that guy in a tub of spaghetti eating it. They got their sauce coming out of the drain. These guys are going to town on a turkey dinner. So we're gonna get a quick scan of what pinball machines they have in operation. This is pretty cool actually. It's a little ride that takes your photo. They had these at Chuck E. Cheese and I don't know if that's supposed to be Chuck E. Cheese or not. Beautiful cool carousel right there. Oh! clown head right there. And look, oh, the world's largest overalls. Seriously would get on some of these coin operated animals, but 30 pound limit. That's what the fun police have determined. Tune in for maximum smoke. Is that Charlie Chaplin? That is an electric chair with a granny in it. And I'm not sure what the dance of the fairies is. Elsie, she has chewed her cud. Weird. Marvin's amazing water fountain. Wow, so what can I even say? That the largest collection of just amazing robots. No Zoltar, no Pappy, but they got about everything in between. Um, just amazing. I can't recommend this place enough. It's free to go in. You just pay quarters to operate the machines you want. So much to look at. They have the Cardiff Giant in there for the love of... <laughs> love this place. Um, can't recommend it enough. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please check down in the description see other amazing mind-blowing places I've been. Uh, you may also... Uh, check down the description for ways to help support the channel. I have a Spreadshirt shop as well as a Patreon page. If you donate at least $3 on Patreon, I will send you postcards while I'm out on my journeys. And for now, this one's in the bag. The one thing I can't figure out is what is that hanging ball of hair right there?